doing the same thing right now, and it's a, this is a real leadership kind of show. We talk about leadership and agile and scrum and, and just workplace in general. And uh, assuming that you could be doing the same thing that we were doing before coronavirus, and there's a lot of people think that way because they don't, they can't think out of the box. But when you become real agile, your ability to adapt really improves. So doing the same thing, velocity curves. I'm amazed how many scrum masters and teams can't aren't capable of saying, yeah, no, the velocity, we're not going to match the velocity we had when we pre-coronavirus. I mean, they, they can't do it. Like, well, our velocity, and you tell us, Greg, that you should look at the last three to six sprints and whatever that velocity is, what we should use as average. And I said, yeah, the ideal situation. Come on, man. Think a little bit on your own. It ain't going to happen, right? <laughs> I mean, we don't know who's got what. Kit Beamer, parents have their kids and families and your isolation and stuff and distractions and this stuff in general. Can't go out, can't do anything. You, you know, people worry about stuff. There's a lot of extra stresses. But there's yet there's still people to say, but we, we, did, we did 40, 45 points or whatever it was past sprint so we should be putting that down in the future sprint i'm like no don't put that down but it's amazing how many people have to explain that to and it's really a shame so look be realistic use your gut not big gut like my big gut but use your gut feelings and what the velocity should be for your team ask your team ask them what they, they'll tell you what they think yeah it's not gonna get too good and if they say it's gonna be wonderful then say you're bullshitting me Sorry, my French, but that's bull. So please think about it. Spare your team. Spare your customer. Don't overcommit during this period of the coronavirus. Definitely don't overcommit. I preach about overcommitting all the time. Just say you get what you get, right? I mean, it, we're going to do our best. And uh, this is the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. Hope you're all doing well. And it's a tough time. And we are here to talk Agile and Scrum in a tactical and practical way. Also, how you apply that. But also, mostly in business. Talk about how we use those techniques to get you home to family and friends. Build more value for the customer. And get it done in a normal work environment. Not the, eight, not the 60 hours a day, you know, a week. 10-hour um, day things. And to balance work and life and have some fun, right? Um, but that's what I got. And with that, I wish you a healthy, happy day. And if you like our show, please ring. I am starting to put out some more content, which I'll put out there throughout the day. And take advantage of Eddie's 180,000 views on this little tiny uh, video on YouTube. All right, good for him. He's going to be YouTube master, right? Um, you have an awesome day. Take care. Enjoy. Have some fun. Don't forget, take some breaks. Don't work 10 hours. You know, do what you normally do. Work some hours. Get up, walk around, get a drink, get a coffee, whatever you got to do. 